I'm not gonna get it, bro. I just let my build be cheaper. Third. Toys are pretty quick. Toys are Need a flat hit? So, there you go right there. Probably. Yep. First one, positive and negative. He's a tool, man. Positive, negative, hopefully. Let me see here. These are like P2s. like 2009. 2008, old, 2009. Let's go and see if they work. They should, they should work. Yeah, surprise. They're going to blow these 218s out. Come on now. They're going to blow these 218s out right here. They look weird. You recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Hey, uh, my ass makes that same thing when you eat too much Mexican food. <laughs> Bro, the fuck? <laughs> I go do my that, man. I'm gonna turn the bass off for something a little bit. By the way, those tens are not going in my vehicle. I just hooked them up to see if they worked or not. Um, now he wants me to hook up this boss amp to see if it works or not. First of all, this amp is not even 400 watts. For the fuse, it says 20. So it's just 200 watts, probably even less than 200 watts. I'm just doing this to see if it works or not. <sighs> will, <clears throat> will one boss amp that's 200 watts push 218s? That'd be very interesting. I told him to get a new amp as soon as possible because boss products are trash. Decades ago, this is a fun fact, decades ago, their amps used to be made in the USA. They teamed up with Zed a couple of decades ago. But ever since then, their amps are trash. All their products are trash. You know, they put this big rating on their products, you know, trying to grab customer attention. But you just look at the fuses and, you know, look at the internals. You can tell it's like, you know, very cheaply made. And, you know, the claims they make are not true at all.